The idea to create two recordings dedicated to Heinrich Behrmann and Simon Hemstedt originated from when I was a student at the Royal College of Music. It was there I discovered Pamela Weston's wonderful book, Clarinet Virtuosi of the Past. I had already named my clarinet trio in honour of Richard Mufeld, the dedicatee and inspiration of Brahms's wonderful clarinet works. I also knew the influence Anton Stadler had on Mozart. But it was due to a project I was writing at college, becoming acquainted with Pamela Weston's clarinet virtuosi of the past, that I realised the full extent of this incredible legacy. these great clarinet virtuoso of the past, our pioneering clarinet ancestors, hungry for new repertoire, indeed some players themselves, radically influenced the development of the instrument and in turn the composers who were inspired to write for the clarinet. Gems of the clarinet includes what were originally two separate recordings. The first dedicated to Heinrich Behrmann, which includes Weber's clarinet quintet and the lesser known Behrmann quintet with the famous adagio incorrectly attributed to Wagner for many years, alongside both Mendelssohn's glorious Concertstücke plus some lesser known chamber works, all inspired or dedicated to Heinrich Behrmann. The second recording is dedicated to Simon Hemstedt, and includes several works by Louis Spohr, including his wonderful six German songs and lesser known works. Both recordings have some rare works from which I recorded from manuscript and therefore recorded for the first time. Both recordings are accompanied by full programme notes written by Pamela Weston, who I feel privileged to have known. Pamela also generously gave me permission to reproduce images from her book, a real treasure trove of music, which I, Victoria Samick, recorded in the very early days of the label.